Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to gain access to the location where you install cores for RetroArch. First what you want to do is install the app that, uh, you know, RetroArch in this case, or, or any app that you want access to certain areas. Go to, uh, go to Device Portal, um, and then go to File Explorer. Here you go. Let me let me do this so you guys can see. Go to browse, then right or double click that, copy, go to start, type in CMD, right click it, go to more, go to run as admin, go to yes, press control V or right click. Once that's done, exit out of that. Double click that, copy it, go down to File Manager, go up here, paste, hit enter. What you want to do is you want to go in Windows Apps, go to um, RetroArch, which is 1E4, right click it, go to Properties, go to Security, go to Advanced, highlight Xbox One users. Go to edit, go to full control, go to OK, hit apply, it'll do this. Once that's done, you'll have full control to edit or delete anything in here forever, as long as you have RetroArch installed. So that's going to be it for the tutorial. Hey okay, guys, this is part two, and I'm going to show you how to load uh, two gig plus ROMs. First, what you want to do is you go to Dev Home, you press Select on this, go to View Details, switch it to a game, go back, and launch RetroArch, just like you normally would. I created a folder with File Explorer on the PC. So I'm going to load the core just so that my ROM shows up. Go to S, go to Program Files, then Windows Apps. Go to the second 1E4 folder. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> go to ROMs, and there's your game. I know this is on 64, but you get the idea. I didn't have a GameCube game ready or a Wii game ready, so you're gonna have to just take my word for it. But uh yeah. There it is. It's me, Mario. And uh I hope this helps. Uh thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.